How could Tesla truly be worth 10 trillion by end of the decade or sometime in the 2030s? 4 trillion we could see by end of 2030. Ron Barron says it and when I do my analysis and I go deep into it, 4 trillion does seem, 4 to 4.5 trillion does seem achievable. But 10 trillion? That's like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, even add in Nvidia to that. And you, that's that, all that right now is 10 trillion. That is a very sheesh moment. And for some people, including myself, that is a massive number. And Tesla has to do a lot of crazy things in order for them to be worth 10 trillion. Now, mind you guys, a decade from now is going to be a whole different world. A decade ago, Apple was worth half a trillion, maybe 300, 400 billion. At that time, if you told them that Apple is going to be worth almost 3 trillion or a little bit more than 3 trillion, they will say, you're crazy. But hey, it did it. It's pretty much that it's literally at 3 trillion right now and it's insane. So based on that example alone, 10 trillion may just be a very realistic number for Tesla. Now, here's the thing. How do we hit it? How do we hit 10 trillion for Tesla? On X, I broke it down through automotive, energy, and FSD. I didn't add robo taxi, no bot, no nothing. Doing quick napkin math, we got over 11 trillion. It's absolutely insane. If you guys aren't following me on X, I don't know what you guys are doing, but anywho, in this video, I broke it down. The same thing on X, I broke it down here, and we're gonna go sector by sector how much they're gonna be worth by 2033, like a decade from now. And let's see what we will get per sector, and at the end, total revenue and the actual net income, and see what the total valuation of Tesla is going to be. This video is gonna be a very sheesh video. It took me a while to make this chart, but I'm very excited to share with you guys. So all I ask in return is you hitting that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. So in this Excel sheet, we have automotive, energy, full self-driving, when that gets solved, and full self-driving licensing. But first, let's start off with automotive, then we can go sector by sector and then get the total. So starting off with vehicles, automotive. Vehicle deliveries by 2033, 20 million. I personally do think that Tesla will hit 20 million, but in 2033, not in 2030. I'm not a bear, guys. No, no, Tesla's gonna do it by 2030. The way how things are going, yeah, I don't think so. 2033 though, that's getting more of a realistic situation. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets delayed even more to 2034 or even 2035. Average selling price around $30,000. Now this could be lower, but I'm also adding inflation as well. I mean, a $25,000, $20,000 car today would be around $30,000, probably even more by 2033. Inflation on the average yearly, I don't care what anyone says, it's not 2%, it's around more like 5% overall, because we do have crazy years like we had with COVID and 2021, 2022, where interest rates, well, interest rates are high now because inflation was high. They reached almost as high as 10%. That's just insane. But keeping things simple, 30,000. That would give you a revenue of $600 billion in just from vehicle. That's insane. Operating margin, I gave here a 15%. Now, this could be closer to 20%. Keeping it conservative to 15%, we get income from operations here of $90 billion. Now, we're going to give this a PE of 15 because that's the industrial average, right? Most people are saying give it a 20 PE, but Toyota right now is at a 20 PE and they're just stagnant. I want to be conservative with my numbers, so I'm going to give it a 15 PE at that time. That would give it a market cap of over $1.3 and a stock price of 415 bucks, which is pretty much the all-time high of Tesla right now. And that's just the vehicle loan, and that's all until 2033. So let's just hope Tesla is not just a car company. And I'm pretty sure we all know that Tesla is not just a car company because we've got energy to look forward to. Oh, and by the way, guys, I push shares of standing here to a little bit over 3.2 billion because I do think they will do buybacks. Uh, this is this is including buybacks, by the way. So yeah, no dividends, just buybacks. So energy here, mega pack sold every single year about a hundred thousand units each mega pack right now can do ten thousand if tesla's thinking to do 10 mega packs worldwide that's about ten thousand times ten mega pack factory is a hundred thousand now they could upgrade each mega pack factory to make about 20 25 30 000 units per mega pack factory but keeping it you know very conservative and keeping information that i know 100,000 units. Average selling price of about 1 million. Now, I do think this may go lower. Right now, they're selling it around 2 million, but if you buy at bulk around 10 or 20, it does get shrunken down to like 1.1, 1 
even at 1 million sometimes. And I do expect more mega pack factories come online, more supply goes into the market. I do think the average selling price will go down. But on the average, I put a million here, revenue of $100 billion, just the mega pack alone. We're not even gonna include the supercharging, the other energy parts that Tesla has and coming, just the mega packs solely that's it and operating margin again of 15 percent again elon did say around 20 25 percent this makes sense but 15 percent here we get an income from operations of 15 billion dollars the average energy pe at the moment right now is around 15. some are high as 30 some are as low as 10 but the average is 15 to 20. i'll take the low end give it a 15 and that's a stock price of 69. nice dollars and 23 cents that's a market cap of just over 200 billion dollars so if we go ahead and add these two together right now that's a stock price of about just below 500 bucks per share automotive and energy that's it and energy that's not even complete because we've got other forms of energy revenue going to be coming soon like batteries will be one of them and then we've got superchargers and all those other good stuff but here is the biggest part, the biggest chunk that's going to give the most value to Tesla. FSD, full self-driving solve. How I did this is that there's going to be around 100 million Tesla vehicles on the road globally by the year of 2033. Now, by end of this year, we're probably going to have five, about five and a half million vehicles on the road or ever sold. All right, ever. Let's go with ever sold. Maybe a we can't count the ones that have already been totaled or in an accident and unusable because we don't have those numbers. So let's just say 5.5, 5.4 million vehicles on the road by end of 2023. And that's quite impressive because if we just go back last year, there was about just less than 3 million. Now we've got 5.5 and next year it's going to be around 7, 8. And the year after that, then 10. And then it's going to continue exponentially growing to the point that if they're going to be selling 20 million vehicles per year, by 2030. I mean, that is just one fifth of this in one year. So food for thought there. I also assume there's going to be a 50% FSD adoption rate among Tesla vehicles only, only Tesla vehicles. Now, in my personal opinion, I do think it's going to be more closer to 100% because if, if it gets solved and it's safer than humans, it's easy for it to get regulated and approved in other countries because, hey, this thing is like 20 times more safer than than a human being. Human beings are now the risky drivers, not the AI anymore. So I do think this is gonna have a more of an uptake rate than 50%, but keeping it you know low, 50% here, that would mean about 50 million FSD customers have opt-in to get the FSD, which is just absolutely insane. Now the monthly rate right now is 200 bucks per month. By 2033, it's probably going to be maybe 300 or 400. And if this becomes a service where you can just go to Tesla and say, hey, I just want to subscribe to the monthly basis for FSD. I don't want to, you know, buy the car, finance the car, or lease the car. I just want to sit in the car for the car to take me everywhere. There's no steering wheel. There's no pedals. There's no, you know, brake pedals, nothing. It's just an entertainment system. You just sit in the car, you tell it where to go, and it will go. Then I could see this being as high as maybe five, six, maybe a thousand bucks per month. But hey, we're not going to go there. We're going to go based on what we know today. So 200 bucks a month times 50 million customers that's 10 billion billion on a monthly basis in revenue if you times that by 12 that's an annual we get 120 billion dollars in revenue which is absolutely insane operating margin 60 percent people will say crazy but this is a software as a service guys these things can go up as high as 80 90 percent but here I'm going to put a 60% because I do think that is conservative and I like to stay conservative. There's an income from operations of $72 billion. A proper PE for this is 30, in my opinion, because if, if they got another 50 million vehicles to sell FSD to, and if they keep selling 20 million vehicles every single year and 10 million of them do convert to FSD, this should be closer to a 40, 50 PE. But I'm going to keep it 30 PE and we get a stock price of $664.62 and a market cap over $2.1 trillion. Just this alone is 50% more valuable than the automotive and energy combined. That's just insane. That's crazy. So the automotive adding the energy, adding this full self-driving, that's a stock price of 1150 by 2033, but we're not done there yet. We are not done there yet. If full self-driving does get solved, which I do think it will, that would mean FST licensing is going to happen easily. Total Tesla vehicles on earth by 2033, I put here 
2 billion because that's what the estimate is in 2030 not 2033 in 2030 and although this article is a little bit outdated because it's saying fossil fuels i mean 2016 i mean now we know that's not the case so they're saying 2 billion 2 2 billion vehicles on earth by 2033 which majority of them are going to be evs it's easy as i mean <laughs> i do think majority of them are going to be evs let's say 10 percent, only 10 percent of the non-tesla owners adopt the fsd or license the fsd that comes down to 200 million non-tesla vehicle as customers which is a lot the payment model or the royalty model for tesla when they do license out fsd there's a lot of things it could be a revenue share it could be a monthly take rate like how they're doing right now with their own customer there's tons of payment method that tesla can take a route on i have no idea which one they're going to do it but to keep things simple here what i did was is that okay if you're an oem or a company that wants to license out fsd i will give it to you the same price i give it to a customer you're like a customer 200 bucks a month and you can charge your customers 300 350 whatever you guys want so he tesla still gets that 200 bucks a month from the licensing so if you put that here on a monthly basis that's 40 billion dollars on a monthly revenue which is absolutely insane an annual revenue of almost half a trillion dollars that is like triple than the regular quadruple than the regular fst which is absolutely insane operating margin here i put 80 percent because licensing is pretty much i mean 100 percent should be profits but i'm going to put here 80 percent, and that's an income from operations just below 400 billion dollars that's insane i'm going to give this a p of 20 because the number is just too big to give it a high multiple it really is and with a 20 p we get a stock price almost between 2400 bucks per share at a market cap of almost 8 trillion that's insane that i mean forget about the automotive and energy the fsd lights the fsd alone look how much is going to bring that in that's crazy now let's go ahead and see what the total revenue and the net income would be and all that and give it a correct pe so we can see the right a realistic stock price for all this so especially i like button because this is going to get real juicy total revenue of all this together is about 1.3 trillion which is absolutely insane i mean at the moment amazon is the only company right now that's doing more than half a trillion in sales for tesla to do 1.3 trillion by 2033 that's insane income from operation is 561 billion dollars we do have to add the operating or subtract the operating cost and the taxes because then that's how we get the net income gap not non-gap but gap because that's more important i put here minus 10 percent and with that we get a net income gap of half a trillion dollars which is absolutely insane i'm going to give this a pe of 20 because really this number is way too big to give it a high pe it just really is at 20 PE, that will give you a stock price of 3100 bucks per share and a market cap over $10 trillion. That is crazy. That's like what, 12, 13, 14x? That's absolutely crazy. And guys, we haven't even added the bot and the robo taxi here. I'll have a separate video trying to calculate those, but we're not even, we haven't even added those in, in yet. If you want to add the robo taxi, because the robo taxi is just going to be a massive business, it's going to be crazy. Then obviously we don't have the revenue profits of that to add it here in the totals. So I'm just going to increase the PE of it so we can see how it'll be. Because if we do add the revenue profits of that in, we will have a similar PE here. But we're going to increase the PE just, you know, because we're just, you know, speculating here and having fun. I would think a 25 PE, if you want to add in the robo taxi here, that would mean a stock price of almost 4,000 bucks per share. And that's a market cap of almost $13 trillion. That's like what? 15, 16, 17X. And if you want to add the bot into it, 30 PE, for almost 5,000 bucks per share. Over 15 trillion. Over 15 trillion. Okay, let's let's bring our horses back. 20 PE with the current thing. And some of you guys will go like, hey man, 10% is, is too low. You know, the operating costs and taxes and they're making this much. It should be more. All right, let's do 15%, all right? That's a stock price of, I mean, just below 10 trillion, but stock price north of 2,900 bucks per share. That's still like a 12X from now. 20%. That's 2,800 bucks per share and a market cap um, nine, nine, 9 trillion. 9 flipping trillion. Still, you're getting an 11X. Crazy. Absolutely insane, man. Anyways, I'm going to go back to 10% here and I want to show you guys something really interesting here. I want to show you guys how important full self-driving is to Tesla because without it, Companies kind of worthless. I mean, like, as we see here, 
in 2033 if they sell 20 million vehicles and if the average selling price is 30,000 if the operating margin is 15 percent then we can talk about 1.3 and a half trillion in valuation and energy by 2033 if they sold 100,000 units at an average selling price of 1 million which I don't think that's going to be the case with an operating margin of 15 percent that's a stock price of 69 bucks per share or a market cap of 225 billion dollars and the fsc's are in the trillions like easily this is like 80 percent 70 percent of tesla by 2033 if fsd becomes good to go and is up there tesla is an fsd company like it really is a technology company and that's where the most valuations come from that's how I evaluate Tesla. If full self-driving doesn't happen, the company is flipping worthless. I mean, 500 bucks by 2033 for Tesla. Are you kidding me? I'll pull that money out and I'll just get real estate. That's much better returns than, than that, in my humble opinion. But the reason why I'm all in into Tesla stock is because of full self-driving, is because all this, and we're not even adding robot tax here. So imagine the potential of that. But anyways, I want to show you guys here how worthless Tesla really is. And I'm not a bear, guys, without the full stop driving. Let's remove the licensing, okay? We are still getting a thousand bucks per share by 2033 and a market cap over 3.2 trillion, which is okay. Not bad, all right? You get to four or five extra money by 2033, a decade from now. That's not bad. That's good. Still better than the S&P 500, right? You're still being in the market. But if you get rid of the full self driving in total and that doesn't happen, you would get a stock price of 580 81 bucks per share and a market cap of like just below 2 trillion and that's just and that's terrible and maybe they won't even they won't even give it a 20 pe a 15 pe because tesla truly is just a car company and maybe a little bit of an energy company so really 436 bucks per share and a market cap just below one and a half trillion dollars sorry man i'm not interested in that i mean yeah the mission is nice and all but if, if, if it's just vehicles and energy, then Tesla is not really changing the world. Yes, they are, you know, fulfilling their mission of, you know, transitioning to sustainable energy. But the full self-driving is the biggest part of it. The AI is the biggest part of Tesla. And if Tesla was only an automotive and energy company, I would not be going all in or even investing so much money into Tesla stock. My humble opinion. I'm not Tesla bear. I'm just saying. That's why I'm a true believer that Tesla will definitely solve FSD. I mean... They're, they're, they, are, they are on the brink of doing it, in my opinion. That is my humble opinion. Obviously, it's all a prediction and a prediction alone. Take all this with a grain of salt and do your DD. And I'll have this on Patreon as well. I have a lot of things to add on to Patreon. But I'll have this on Patreon as soon as possible so you guys can mingle, mingle around and play around with it. And later, I'll make another video, the exact same thing, but adding RoboTaxi and bots and other stuff that are I think could be very significant to Tesla. So that is what I got here. If you add FSD, licensing, and full self-driving, $10 trillion valuation by 2033. That's a stock price of $3,100 per share or something like that. Probably even more. Insane. Absolutely in flipping insane. But we've got to hold our horses here. Let's go quarter by quarter. In Q4, Tesla's going to have a record delivery and a production. I made a video about it here, what I think the production del delivery would be, as well as the revenue and profits and the stock price. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. Guys, get your I bought the dev t-shirt. It'll really support me. And guys, subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.